Well, hello guys and welcome to yet another exciting and educative content in our series dubbed Solving Wasi Pass Questions. Now in this episode, we're going to tackle the 2019 spreadsheet problem. So without much ado, this is Kojo Japan. Let's dive straight into it. Now this paper theory, we have two hours to solve three practical questions as usual. And you have to read through the instructions to make sure that you know what Wayek expects from you. So quickly going through this, we know that you're supposed to create a folder with our initials and index number on our desktop. And into this folder is where you have to save our solutions. So we quickly do that. Use your initials. I'm Kojo Japan. So okay, a index number 01100101. Good. Now we can go ahead and then jump straight to reading our problems. So that is problem number two in 2019. Now using a spreadsheet application. We have to create a table below and save it as result in the folder. So we have to create this table first. So we launch Excel. Then let's try snapping it to the left so that we can see our problem and then type it down. All right. So here we go. We have student name. Then subjects are ICT mathematics, English, and then history. Ooh, it looks like gibberish here. So in here we have mathematics, that should be clear. Then right from mathematics, we have English in there. Awesome. Now names of students we have. Before we even do that, let's resize ourselves so that those long tests will fit in perfectly. So we're good to go. So Arthur here. Make sure that we actually hurry up typing problems because we have not more than two hours to complete three questions make sure we practice our typing and become very efficient a little quicker to in typing so that it saves us a lot of time wasting getting comfortable on the keyboard is a skill that we have to work every day towards and i hope you guys are doing just that so we have up here joy georgette we have ashoko aquile and then we have samson kofiche kwesi yao awesome so the, these are these are the names of the students. So let's go recording their marks. 40, 90, 60, and 75. Now we have 80 here, 50, 70, and 65. That's that that and that now we make sure that our figures are correct because data analysis you are dealing with data and any wrong input will return to you a wrong output so you have to make sure that we type what we see on a question paper that is clear right Great. So we are on Georgette, so 15 ICT, 80 here. We have 60 there, and then we have 30 for history. 
uh, Ashokor's name hasn't been spelled rightly, so we have to bring our S, which we missed. All right, so she had 70 here, 45 in there, 80 in English, and then 20 in history. Last but not the least, we have 60 for ICT for something, 80, 75, and then 35. Phew. All right, so that is basically all that. And the problem says we should save this as results in our folder. Now we can add borders all around our data. So you hit, you hold down the shift button and then use the right arrow key. You add the control key and then press the down arrow key to select everything or just use your cursor or your mouse to just highlight everything else. Now we include some border here so that they look decent and neat. And we can resize our cells so that those that are beyond the long test will fit perfectly. So this is our instruction, save it into the folder we created. Now up here in the left navigation pane, you navigate to your desktop, the folder we created, save this as results. Make sure the type is saving with an extension .xls and then you're good to go. So this is our first file, I think. Let's go back to the problems to verify. So that is done for A. Now B, format the student name column using the test wrap command. Okay. So up in here, the student name column, we highlight everything. And then let me just make this a little bigger for you guys to see. So up here in the home tab, you see here in the alignment ribbon, we have this command here, test wrap. So this is just to use, make to used to make long tests into multiple lines so we can see everything here so we just did that so assuming i just reduce the size of this cell and then we applied that you'll see that it will bring the lost cells in here just like that so any long test here when we apply this it brings it down so that you you can be able to see all the tests that we have in there that is cool right so that is what you've done. So let's go back to continue finishing our problem. So that is it for B. Now in C, insert the title second term examination result on top of the created table using the merge and center feature. So make this bigger. This is how you insert a cell. Right click on the very first and then insert. This creates a row up on the already data that you have, the data that you have already. Now we're supposed to use merge and center to input a test called or a title second term examination results. So we do that. So someone will ask, why does it look like this? Remember, we selected the whole column A and then apply the test wrap to it. So definitely any test we put here will be test wrapped. So here we hold the shift button, use the right arrow key to select a bunch of cells. We want to merge and center. Now merging and center is self-explanatory. Combining all the cells that we select and then make it once and then center our, our, our data there. Here we can press this to make or bolden it or increase the font size as a title deserves. So that is what you've done. And then we are good to go up to how you desire to make it look like. So that is done. And then we can save our work as modified in our folder created. So this saving another file in our folder browse automatically will open to our folder because that is where we last visited 
and then we can just type the name modified and that is our second file great so far so good right hang in there we'll be through this very soon all right so we now go to the next problem which is problem e now in problem e we have to create an appropriate column for the following total score lowest score so we're going to add to our list of tables here so we have total score here and then we have lowest score all right so we can apply borders around these two so that they look like what we already have so select everything here add the control to the shift that we're already holding down and then we can just click on the border just to add them resize this so that they fit perfectly and then here we go we have done that in e now in f compute the values for 2ei that is total score and then 2eii so we have to compute the total score so how do you find the total total means adding we're going to sum all these values for which students had in these various subjects so sum there and then we select the cells containing the values of results we hit enter the values will be returned and then we can just auto fill everything here we do the same thing lowest means the smallest the least so we're going to call upon the mean or the minimum function select the scores from the four subjects make sure you don't add that of the total score and then we find the list among these we auto fill and then we are good to go so that is f real quick right yeah so j sort the worksheet in descending order of the total score and save it as sorted in the folder that we created so we have to sort the worksheet in descending order of the total score all right so this is where we have our total score and we are told to sort these out in descending order that means from the top to the bottom from the highest to the smallest now how do we do that we're already in our home tab and look at the editing ribbon here we find the sort and filter group here so here we want to sort because they are numbers from the largest to the smallest so that means the highest to the lowest now when we apply that we realize that these smallest values total score look at these values you know some are bigger or larger than the others we want to arrange them such that we will have them in descending order and in doing so we must also reflect mind you there are people or students here that is a part of the record of these students so if we're doing anything at all and then we are rearranging we must make sure that we rearrange base and then base on the names and then the scores in all of these subjects so we go back to our sort for command from the largest to the smallest and then this is the warning that excel is giving us so this is the warning excel found data next to your selection since you have not selected this data it will not be sorted so what do you want to do it is important that you read error messages warning messages it is english you understand and then it will help you fix it so what excel is going to is offering us with the ability to expand the selection that means that even though we didn't select the other data attached to this it is giving us the opportunity to expand so that when we sort this out it will affect everything relating to this particular record so we say that yes expand the selection thank you very much and then it does that for us so now look at the difference here we see that ashoko aquile has now been returned to the bottom due to the fact that she had the lowest total score appear george follows with 220 there is also ganyo here with 220 240 by root, 250 by Samson, 265 and 265 up here. So previously, we saw that Ashoko was somewhere here 
we had someone with 220 Akushia up here. But when we expanded the selection, we've seen that everything has been affected and then they have been sorted out based on their total score. So that is exactly what we needed. So we are on track and I hope this helps. And you guys are following, right? Cool. So we are on track to getting this 15 marks. All right, so that is done. And then we have to save this as sorted in the folder. So we hit on file, we save as, open our folder. We already make sure you always check on this where you are in the current directory. So the path, and we have to save this as sorted. And we hit on save. So that there goes that. Now the next problem we have on H, we use the auto filter to extract records of students whose total score are 280. So if any student had a total score of 280, we have to filter them out. Now looking at our total score, it is evident that no students had 280. So even if we apply our filter, we will still get no student. Yes, yeah, so expect that. So that is what you should expect. So how do we do that? We are in our home tabs and then we look at our sort and filter group here and then we select filter. So when we do that, it automatically brings up a drop down arrow here. You click on that, you get this your auto filter pop up and here that is where you apply filtering based on conditions and all that here we want to select any number among this which is equal to 280 so we input the number here 280 we press on ok and then voila there is no student having a total score of 280 don't worry about this this is what why expected so we are still on the right track so there's no student who actually made a score of 280 so that is fine we are good now go to the next problem insert your full name and index number as the header so the problem it's itself giving you a clue insert what are you inserting a header so that is basically that with your full name and then your index number so we've done that and then we are good. Last problem, that is J. Save the workbook as final results in the folder we've created. All right, so that is the end of our problems. We save us into our folder and we're saving it as final results as indicated here. Final underscore results. great so we have everything done and then this is for 15 marks was 2019 paper three thank you guys for joining me this has been an exciting episode and trust me i've learned so much more and i hope you guys too are learning new stuff every time this is Koji Japan and if you are just new here, make sure you subscribe, like this video if it is helping you in your studies. I want to know if there is anything I can address, leave it in the comments down below and share this with your friends so that they also enjoy this and then they all get better as you guys are getting better and practicing for examination. This has been a delight for me joining me and i hope to see you in the next video be great out there thank you and have a wonderful time